Tonight, Middle Tennessee drivers are wondering why they're being billed for parking in garages and parking lots in Nashville. They've never even been to those locations. Chief Investigator Jeremy Finley continues to expose these complaints. And Jeremy, this may be the most eye-opening of all so far. Yeah, that's right, Marius. We've already expo exposed so many complaints, including drivers getting billed for just driving through the lots, not even stopping. What you're about to see is further proof, these drivers say, that the technology with these lots can be problematic and costly. So this is a text message I received. When Logan Richardson got this email on October 6th, he immediately knew something was wrong. So it was just a panicked moment of what is going on. It was a personal message from Metropolis Parking to Logan, welcoming him to the Vision lot in Germantown. Problem was, he and his car were home. Immediately, obviously, I panicked, thinking someone's stolen the car. But it hadn't been stolen. It was sitting in his driveway. It took a while, but he got a Metropolis representative on the phone. And he told me that, um, oh, that don't worry, this happens all the time. It looks like someone with a similar license plate drove into our lot, our camera captured it, and charged your account. And I was just taken aback when he said that. And I, my immediate response is, how do you let this happen? That is my license plate. It also happened to Jeffrey Hoffman. He got billed from Metropolis for parking in the lot at Amazon's headquarters. The problem with that? You've never parked at the Amazon? No. Way. Never been there? No. Both men are existing Metropolis customers, meaning their license plates are already stored in the company's system. But both say they were billed for parking in lots they've never even been to. It shows that I was there for three days. I, which is just 72 hours and 14 minutes, I think it says. It's the latest parking complaint uncovered by WSMV4 Investigates, including people being billed just for driving into Metropolis lots, not even parking, and getting boots on their cars, even though they'd gone through the system to pay. I want people to know that we are actively working on this. Metro Councilman Jacob Coupon has heard so many complaints, he had a meeting with Metropolis. He's careful to say, the technology of having a camera capture your license plate and avoiding having to pay at kiosks is a good idea, but... I think the technology is not perfect yet. I know they're actively working on it, so it tells me that there, there's still more to do. Because these are private lots, the city has no control over them, and that's a problem for Richardson, who says the amount of money he was charged is simply too costly of a mistake. $45 is a make or break situation for some people to eat in a week. And how are you justifying taking money out of someone's account? Now we did reach out to Metropolis once again for an interview. We received a statement that did not address our questions about if there are problems with these cameras. Once again, the company says they have ways for you to file complaints. And that's exactly what Logan Richardson did. And he got a refund, but be warned. It says it took him about 25 minutes to finally get somebody on the phone. Jeffrey Hoffman says, he doesn't want to wait that long and will dispute this charge with his bank. Lauren? Wow. Okay. Yeah, just the latest episode in this saga. Thank you.